scary because I don't see it. I don't see mm. the DPS from season yes, one. Yes. Here's what uh, I like about this draft. Uh, season one, they're a little more solid when it comes to the front line, but the interaction of uh, Fuzakin's Baksha with uh, the Hylos on the other side, even the the the, the Hyrith, I think that's going to be the equalizer. So, man, I really need to think about this because based yeah. on the hero lineup, I, it's still a toss-up. Mm. Uh, I'd like to have Shinbu take the I'm first jab at predicting. I'm, I'm actually tempted. I'm, I, I'm starting to wish that members of the Season 1 champion team have those and the Kimi. Mm -hmm. It's really well with the high loss for that part. But they got PNK. Yeah. They, got, they got nice pressure. So, yeah. I have <laughs> very <laughs> confidence on the composition here of the Season 1 champion. Yes, but I'm a fan in their main. I'm, oh, putting, I'm putting my I'm putting I'm making this easier for you, Leo. I'm putting my vote on the season <laughs> ones. Okay. All right, I'll give Leo a bit more time. I'm gonna go vote for season four champions here just because uh, I feel like it's a lot more streamlined. It makes yeah. a lot a lot of sense. On the other side, I, I'm gonna stick by what I said. This li lineup doesn't have that much damage. Yes, yes. Especially it's if Barrett gets shattered though. <laughs> but it's Yuji's Harris though. But again, this is just again, we all have that season one. Uh, fanboy screaming in our hearts, right? Yeah. And we want to see these guys do well, but <laughs> I gotta go with you guys. I think it's a 3 1 season 4. All right, let's get into the game. Shin, Boo, and Leo on the caster desk for game 2, season 4 champion versus season 1 champion. Yeah. Let's go. Look at that. Look at, look at the help bar here of Fuzak and there's an embrace that was done her by pain. Ladies and gentlemen, if we're asking for damage, damage has been done. But let's see if that will pay dividends because, of course, the target here would be of the perf buff. No, it won't be. Man, yeah, J uh, JP team. secures it. Yeah. yeah, JP secures it. And the problem here is they get the tabs now already sent for this buff. You can easily have JP there. Oh, get the buff. oh, oh no. <laughs> Did he get No, it, Renzio got yeah, it. Yeah, so Renzio got it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It gets denied. That's two buffs against UG on the Harry. No. no. That's very punishing. <laughs> okay, but look at this. Harry. Coco did steal the orange. Yeah, yeah, it's but something. again, it, yeah, yeah, that's something. But still, uh, that that is far from what is denied against yeah. me. Yeah, been yeah. expecting that the tap it will be yeah. very slow, not just it's, slow, but very slow. It's minus two plus one. But look at this yeah. now, caught out by an arrow is going to be uh, Hayes, and he's shut down here by Rafflesha. There you go for first blood pain as well, being threatened. Kill me oh, against oh. the. Combo in, and that's gonna be another 2 0 here for season 4. And Kill VJ gonna go down. Rebo gets the revenge kill, and uh, they even out the situation yeah. uh, at least in the long run. One for one there in the lead yeah. is still season 4 by about 800 gold. And here we go, they're gonna secure their own buff at least for this yeah. time. Orange for season 1. I, I was uh, thinking that. Uh, KLVJ will be the one playing the Claude here, but it was cheap. Claude Claude and KLVJ on the Gushan. I think that was an overstaying there. <laughs> but KLVJ doesn't really need to go like yeah. to the front line. I mean, that's a high loss. You can just walk with four legs and stop on the face of the Gushan, especially if that uh, all his dashes has been burned. And look at the arrows here from Raplisha. That's very punishing. I mean, if that doesn't oh. to kill, it will not be good for the side here of the Season 1 team. But yeah, another overchase here to be done by Raplisha, by the Season 4 champs. And they got punished, offsetting the lead now to 2-2. Game feels like, especially for the hero choices, I'll talk about it in a bit. Pain looking like he's in trouble here. Taken out. Is Kiel VJ? Pain still alive. Can Fuza yeah, can yeah, yeah. in the final hit? No, he can. <laughs> what? See, believe in the heart of the cards, bro. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, I was... yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's you, you're, you're going to be seeing what? Because it's better to see this kind of mistakes. Yeah. But <laughs> again, team. it's fine, I guess. Yeah. Zuckin was just playing it safe here, rolling into mid. I was going to say, um, I totally forgot what I was going to say because of that uh, crazy. Yeah, because of that crazy play. Well, let's see here. Again, this will be the opportunity for Yuji to take his own buff. He will be guarded, though, by the high loss along with the jawhead, even with a PNK. Five man squad on the buff. They needed this to secure it. They needed it. I but before another fight comes out, I remembered. Yeah. This feels like Season 4 champions. They might not be saving up for uh, heroes, but they are flexing when it comes to roles. Uh, I'm saying this yeah. because of, again, Rafflesha on the Selena, taken mm. out here by Rebo. Mm. This doesn't feel like it's prime Rafflesha. Well, it's time. They're gonna be punished. They're gonna be punished for their complacency. And the season one champion has taken now their very first lead in this series. 100 gold, ladies and gentlemen. Further taken here by the take of their turtle. 
It looks like Rafflesia. Now it makes sense why he brought out a picture of a greed of Baloy. Right? I think it was channeling Baloy in this yeah, game. Yeah. Like he wants to, to be possessed by the spirit of greed in this game, and it's not yeah. working out. The season one champions they've pulled ahead now. About a hundred gold. That's not yeah, much, yeah, but not they much, are now ahead by five to two. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, let us see if uh, playtime will be over for the side here of our Season 4 champions because Season 1, uh, they don't want to play games. They don't want to be messed with here by the Season 4 champs. Any tower dives, any uh, aggressive uh, dives will be punished accordingly. Alright. Gonna move slow and steady here for the side of Team Season 1 champs. Now Ooh. we get Muzak dealing up with Rebo. Oh, I think they're they're lacking damage. There's a poisons now by Fuzaken. All right, they're not gonna force this again. Not a good idea to chase a Baksha that has an ult. Yeah, yes, yes. Especially when the Tartar's percent activated. Let's see here though. JP with a blazing duet and also a Slayer by the Gushan. Oh, I think up top onto the high loss now. UG dueling up along with Red and JP, and this is the tempo that we were speaking of. Tempo that was lost because of the blue buff denied against the mage here of the season one champs. Here comes Koho, no ejector, but got the smart missiles to go for the wave clear here for the backline as well with UG. And of course you get Rafflesia and Red is hiding on this brush. I think that should be it. At least they're able to defend their own base. Still, the push is still in favor of the Season 4 champ. Mm -hmm. Here's interesting. Season 4, they lost some tempo early game. Oh, sorry. Yeah, after that, that massive uh, choking of Yuji, it looks like Season 1 champs have gotten back into the, the, the flow. But we've seen Season 4 champions come back from worst. Yeah. So this is far from over for Season 4. So now uh, they're back in the lead. Uh, they're on cruise control, they're in the driver's seat, and yeah, they left Renzi up top. Look at this, he's gonna get pushed and let Coco have something to say about it. Turtle yep, 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 yep. They are starting to converge here from the top lane side, actually eyeing to at least get a scout in a proper position for this turtle. But look at that, rotation here done by Fusak and along with KLVJ, uh -huh. they're eyeing to target the bottom lane. And I got pain to check them, this is very dangerous for pain. If he receives one sword spike there, it will be over for him. Also with the Baksha, connect him towards him. I think we are angry, activated here by Yelly Ace as well on the PNK. They've started to take the turtle, members of the Season 4 champion team that is. Oh, they're splitting the map up. Look at this, Shinbu. They're everywhere. Oh. Zaman Force dropped here by the Mage Dad, Yuji. They catch out JP. JP getting some stacks from them. Can he pull out the blazing? Do it. Yes, he does. There you go. Yeah, yeah. He's out down Rebo as well. Oh, kill VJ. In the middle of everything. There's the kill on the Rebo. Kill VJ gets it. And they are going to walk away with that double for Season 4. And it looks like they're still wanting for more. Yeah, yeah yes. from the back. Coco missing that arrow by just an inch. They'll take the third anyways. And Sun Sparks is activated. My brother Leo. <laughs> Earlier they're, they're right. committing to a lot of mistakes. Earlier they're committing to a lot of mistakes. But look at that. They were able to take the tempo properly for the mid lane push down in by the season one champion. You can actually see how many skill the damage is dealt here by Yuji. Against the tank though. That's a tank anyway. But still, that's little damage to be done by their main their main uh, damage dealer for season one team, which is the Harit towards the Baksha Anon. And let's see here that gives it up to them for JP to cast the Blazing Duet. And here's another Blazing Duet into the front line for the team fight up top. Another arrow will not be tagging Yelly. It doesn't matter though. The pressure is on and all in favor of the season four champs. Ooh. Uh, again, at some point in the early game, I was hoping that it would be an, a stolen series, but now it looks like season four, they're not gonna let go here. They trade off Uzaken for a triple here. Uh, Rebo taken out earlier uh, than uh, his uh, allies, but it's gonna convert into a top lane turret take. And yeah, do note this is uh, season four again, passing on uh, that new tank talent that is the uh, concussive blast. But look at the Rebo, he has it here. Yep. Oh, I've yet to feel it. Yeah. I've yet to feel it, man. I want. I want to know how a concussive blast works for for these tanks, but. Uh, mm -hmm. So far, it's it's been a little underwhelming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think the concussive blast would work well on two hit base tanks, really. You know, something with sustain, something with uh repetitive damage. But all that, all, ladies and gentlemen, here's another push to be done. But the season four champions you get trends who getting one ish, but it doesn't matter. You want to watch to kill BJ, JP, and Fuzaken. They're the main pillars here. <laughs> 
that established the brand for season 4 for Suns Parks. And that's it. They're going to be taking their very first inhibitor trick. Goes for the push here for the mid lane side. Yelez is there to stop him. Oh, and for some BM JP? high in by JP. Tries to kite back. Was able to get the tag completely. No daggers coming in from KLBJ. And of course, back out is to be done by the PNK. Oh. That's a kill on to UG. Just right after he got out of the base. Payne also trying to chase down JP. Surprise, baby boy. And that's it, ladies and gents. At least a oh. kill there coming in from the support and assassination from the main funnel here of our season 4 champ. At least Payne was uh, of the right mind. He was watching out for good yeah. targets. And it's not over till it's over. This is season one penetrated. But look at this now. Rebo taking on KLVJ. This is the cavalry. They're coming in. Payne taking out by Renzio. Popping the Cotteret Inferno. And he's looking for more targets. Spots out Yelly Hayes and Rebo. They want this. The Poissons now. Oh. By Puza Ken. Rafflesha yeah. taking out the Popolim Koopa. Blinking out is Rebo. Flicker already expended. Hold up, gets stunned by the arrow, gets the trap on the way out, and they are going to survive. Yeah. Renzo tries to make the chase. Still not gonna be enough. There is enough movement speed available here for the members of our Season 1 champions. But here we go. Another uh, uh, mindless push here to be done by our Season 4 champion. They're forcing things in the mid. They, yeah. they, don't, have, they don't have to. Renzo will be killed kill here. There we go. <laughs> We don't have to do this really. Pain almost went down, but yeah. you're right. This, that was that was unnecessary, exactly. and maybe it was a miscommunication because if they did try to buy time, JP and yeah. KLVJ could have gone for Lord. That that yeah, was yeah. that was an easy Lord take, but instead they're gonna have to wait now for another chance. Um, maybe after uh, the wave is pushed up top. But this is now uh, season four champions jockeying for a position, and it looks like JP's gonna start it up. Very possible. Very possible. Well, we'll see that still Pain is trying to control the lanes here. Maybe make some impact for himself the way Greed has done it against Onik back in Season 5. But it's the Lord Siege that we are speaking of. And even with the Lord Siege, you can just go 5-man on that one if you're successfully able to take that and maybe wipe some members of the enemy team scouting. It will be the win for you. Let's see here. JP can dish out big damage to Rebo. Look at Rebo here. They have to back up. There's gonna be the Glorious Pack. Pathway activated. Yelly Hayes tries to chase down JP onto the back line. Turtles presents activated as well. Coming in from Puzak and gets chased down. And this dog is not yet toasted. Here comes Renzo for the back line. They dish a big damage towards Yelly Hayes. Oh. And the master, the master of Cupa will be down. Hopefully that is. And yeah, I think they can start going for the push here for the top lane side. And actually, they stopped the Lord to uh, commit to this fight. And now Payne running for his life. This is all of season four after him. Coco takes out Kiel VJ. Gonna follow suit. Is going to be Coco now. It's a one for one for him. <laughs> and now Payne gets away unless JP spots him out. Oh, JP from goodness. behind. Yeah. Oh, Payne actually uh, gets him off round camera. Two. Round two, round two. Round two. Round Renzio two. here. He uh, yeah, Payne is laughing. <laughs> oh, he's got this. It's fine. You know yeah. what? It, it, it turned into more of a disaster for season four because they actually lost out that trade. Yeah. Uh, I'll be real <laughs> with you. It's JP and Kiel for uh, Coco and UG now. Roughly, she had taken out Payne, finally yeah. making him pay for yeah. what he has done. And this is Puzakin. I think he's going to yeah. be fine. Especially yeah. after I, I the Puissant. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we could be wrong. We could, could be, be wrong. wrong. There's the okay. He's down. He had immortality. Can he roll? He's down. <laughs> that took a while, but he's down. Yeah, yeah. I don't know Puzak, what is Puzakin seeking here. Well, anyway, guys, uh, there is a bit of some troll moves to be witnessed here. We're going to sugarcoat it. That is what we are seeing here. But still, the control is on the side of our Season 4 champions. Had it been maybe some more mistakes, yeah, a lot of mistakes, really, from the Season 4 champs, maybe Season 1 can get back into this game. But you have to comment pain, huh? You have to comment pain. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's making sure that JP is not safe within the backlights. Yeah, this is an impressive record for uh, Utility Natalia. 7-4-3. Yeah, seven, seven, and this game is so much more competitive than Game 1. Uh, I'll be honest. That's, <laughs> that's something to say about uh, this series already. Yeah, well, probably because more more mistakes are being committed here by the members of the Season 4 champs. But let's see here. Lord, Rebo, tries to go with you. He's able to secure the Lord. He got it. He got the Lord. He got the Lord, bro. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Might be the nice comeback here to be witness. Coming in from the Season 1 champs. Still, Season 4, they are very willing to fight. But they're trying to trace back or maybe bait on and lure out pain. They're just going to be dealing here with the dog. Dog will be called out by... Popple, and I think that should be it. Still, Pain just hovering around onto the bottom lane side, along with their joy. And look at that, ironically, members of season four, they're eyeing to actually finish this game. Goes oh. for a push for the mid lane side. It's a mega kill already. Is the Lord that they have to deal with? Me oh. and be gone. Yeah, I oh, think that's perfect. The Lord okay. came out in mid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> it might have been calculated, but this is going to be fine. Season four, 
I think at some point they're gonna say it's playtime's over. Payne running all the way into the back. Wow. Kel VJ taking him out. Coco, though, nice split push down bottom, but there's only two members left here for season one to defend with. I think this could be it with that siege minion coming in for season four. They can just focus down the base, and this yeah. is going to be it, Shinbu. Yeah. In under 40 minutes, unless Coco, just enough of a distraction. Yeah, uh, there is season four champs from doing it. There's no minions, There's Shinbu. No minions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, are, minions. Minions. Got there are no minions, ladies and gentlemen. They're gonna go for the push, maybe for the top lane side. Still some play time for the side of a season four champions. Of course, the chase to be done here by the season one for second, stacking up a lot of damage, swinging for the purple and Cupa along with Renzo here. Of course, with the Repo also giving his attention towards the split push being done by Rafflesia. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the longest time that the, this inhibitor turrets onto the side lanes has been standing. At least there is maybe some massive player yeah, coming in from Rebo, which is the steal on that lord. Uh -huh, that was that was amazing. To be honest, yeah, was if amazing. he did not do that, this game would have been over. And man, I've been waiting so long to say there are no minions, and how funny <laughs> it is that it's with you. But ladies and gentlemen, um, season one champions they're able to hang on just a little bit longer. That turn at the top. It could fall down any minute now. I think right here, after this big team fight, Glorious Pathway dropped in by Rebo. There's the Blazing the Wet. Pain shuts him down, but Pain taken out here by KLBJ, just the same. And Rebo gonna follow up, not before taking Fuzakin down himself. And this is just bodies all hitting yeah. the floor as yes, Renzio yes. just runs away. This is Raflisha cleaning house. He needs to get out of there. Kill gonna go down. Yelly Hayes gets the kill. It's a three for three so far. And that is going to be two defenders and two. Fugitives from the base of season one running away. Can Rafflesia get away, Shinbu? There's the flicker, and that is going to be Yuji letting go. But Rafflesia, why? Stop! Okay, yeah, throw out uh, the arrow and then go home. Yeah, very curious about that one. I think Yuji uh -huh. want, wanted to really go back the moment that Rafflesia started turning. Yes. But instead of an arrow, he actually initiated with a trap. Yes. <laughs> That's where I'm curious. Maybe he wants to get the reset for that one after the battle. Yeah. But doesn't matter, they're still pushing the mid. Yep, it's fine. They got away with it. Rafflesia could have died literally, but he's fine. Yeah. Rafflesia, the, the, the season 4 champions has been pushing the mid. They can actually just establish pressure in the mid and convert that for the top lane side. Naturally, the top lane got pushed, especially with the minions up top, but they don't have to lose that much uh, members, right? Mm -hmm. Just to complete that push. Clearly, uh, this is starting to become a uh, for fun game for the side here of the, our season 4 champion. Whereas season 1, ah, uh, you want a for fun game, then we'll, we'll be very willing to answer. We might came to a point for this game that uh, item locks should be available for both teams. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, we're approaching uh, the uh, fifth mark here, even yeah. for season one champ. But uh, this is JP all buffed up, chasing after Coco alongside Puzakin. But Pain just also here as well. There you go, BFMI in. Yeah, is yeah, JP yeah, gonna go in? Oh, yeah. JP taking out the Coco. <laughs> the damage is real, and just now the glorious pathway has been laid out. Rebo taken out here by KLVJ, yep. and UG gonna be shut down oh, by oh, Renzio. Oh. Double kill for yeah. Kel VJ. Beautiful play by Kel VJ. Goes down for again, pinning Yelly Hayes into the wall with the roll, and that's going to be it for Popol and Koopa. Wow. Popol left alone wow. here. <laughs> it's going to be one defender against three attackers yeah. from season four, and the siege is upon us. I believe this is going to be the end for season one. 2 0. Season four is going to take this series. Even Kel BJ actually went for the tower, we can actually see his body within the base here of uh, Team Season 1 Champions. And uh, yeah, I, I guess that is the confidence game really.